Hey there, I'm here from FibonacciArenas.com You're welcome for another weekly edition My top stocks to watch for the coming week The last week of September Like, subscribe and let's see the charts Some great A plus setups I have for you on this list So sit back, relax Let's start with CRWD, CrowdStrike Last Friday ended up with 8% to the upside all the way to the 50% retracement. We are bullish on all time frames. Now, the 276 area is the support. Long continuation towards 322 and then towards this gap at the 338. STX, we have Seagate Technology Holdings. We are bullish on all time frames. Now we are at the upper border of the yellow zone. The 104, 105 area, look left, trade right. Very, very important area of resistance, support, resistance. Now trying to break above it, long continuation towards the 108 and then 113.57 to the upside with 101 is the support that needs to hold. LITE 58 now is the support. We are bullish on all time frames. Long continuation above Friday's highs above the 62 area towards 68, 70 and 77 to the upside overall bullish on all time frames. Super nice. Just put an alert over here. Don't miss it. C.A.L.M. Calm Main Foods. Very, very bullish. Bullish on all time frames. 72. 21 was a very very important area of resistance since end of july now last thursday broke up above friday we got ourselves bullish continuation the 7240 is the support long continuation above friday's highs and we will meet 79 and 8340 are the next resistance ionq broke last friday and stayed above the yellow zone, the yellow zone is the most important area of support according to the FTI, the Fibonacci traders indicator, the ultimate tool that will help you make better decisions, smarter decisions, and basically will transform your trading journey into a successful one for the long run. Now, the 797 and the 760 area are the support same price section we saw during july we are starting to see over here i want to see continuation towards 844 and then 905 will be the next major resistance luv southwest airlines with some kind of a consolidation in the past two weeks or so 2880 is holding nice support we still have mixed signals from the fti bearish and bullish but if we zoom out to the weekly time frame always zoom in and zoom out to get a better point of your price section we can clearly see that this 28 area is holding very very uh, nice support i want to see long continuation above the 29 area next resistance will be the 3050 above 3050 we will see 32 on the daily peloton still struggling with the 506 area look left 506 area resistance all this area from 470 to the 506 very very tough resistance area now once again resistance i'm waiting as you can see i have my alert over here crossing above the 506 next we will have 526 and then all this future resistance as the fti gives us dbrg digital bridge group we have some kind of a consolidation in the past six trading days zoom in and as you can see very tight price section 14 holding support 1480 is the resistance bullish on all time frames now all we need to do is wait for a break above the 1480 and then we are starting to get inside this void this gap towards the 1630 area 1640 1630 because we know that more than 85 90 percent of all gaps will get filled it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when bmi bristol myers 
long consolidation between the 4670 and below the 5050 51 area all this area very tight price action and all this area over here is a major area of resistance but as you can see slowly slowly bmy is holding this trend line low higher lows all we need to do now is wait for a clear break above the 50 50 i prepare, prefer above the 51 20 area and then we can start taking long position and bmy towards 54 55 and all the rest of this future resistance as the fti gives us into the future fiverr fvrr bullish on three out of four time frames 20 five now is the support we see here higher lows higher highs each and every candidate goes by since beginning of september now if you're not long yet on this name i would wait break above the 26 and then next major resistance is the 2650 i prefer personally to wait I don't want to I don't mind to wait above the 2660 and then clear mind we are heading north to the 2760 and above it all the rest of this future resistance sgml closed friday 0.6 percent to the upside bullish on three out of four time frames and as you can see sgml has a major area of resistance over here the 1150 from support resistance also the 1190 is also a major resistance because it was a very very important area of support long continuation above this area next resistance will be the 12 83 once again put an alert or above the 1154 or above the 1190 or both so you won't miss the breakout disney dis is the ticker of course after a very nice some green days some kind of a bull run in the past two uh, weeks or so holding strong above the upper border of the yellow zone the 93 area now as long as Disney is above the 93 area, we can go long towards, I prefer closing above Friday's highs, of course. We will see long continuation, 95.55 and then 98.72. EXPE, Expedia Group. You remember this area, major area of resistance. We drew it few weeks back and we have been waiting for this breakout and last thursday we got also a breakout friday held above it now let's see continuation above 145 and we are heading north to close the gap at the 155 if you don't want to miss any kind of setups like this and many more all you need to do is hit the subscribe hit the like and of course hit the notification bell because we are going live two times a day and of course you're more than welcome to join the fibonacci traders discord the only discord that will help you with a plus setups for day tradings for swing tradings for options for crypto we have special requests of course so join today and also you will get if you join the fibonacci traders discord gold membership you also will get access to this amazing tool the fti check the links in the description below choose your path to financial freedom with fibonacci traders with me and i promise you once you join no matter the the path you choose you will get all the tools that i can provide you to become a better trader alab astera labs double bottom scenario we've been talking about it since last week it was also on my top stocks and we have been waiting for a break above the 47 46 area now last friday it gave us more than seven percent to the upside next we will see 51 80 above 5180 we are heading north towards the 6150 bullish on all time frames 
46 now needs to hold the support. ASPN, Aspen Aerogels. We have mixed signal from the FTI, but look at this. Last Thursday, 15% to the upside. Friday with an inside candle holding above the upper border of the yellow zone, above the 2690 area. Now, all I want to see is continuation above the 2929, and then we will meet the 3315 to the upside. Uber. Uber is the ticker. 7080 still holding support, but all this area still holding as a very tough resistance. Thursday, try to break up and above this area, all this area, we can put this green line that will help us identify from support to resistance. Thursday tried, Friday back below. I want to see another two or three days at least, closing above the 74.50 or even above the 76.40. And then if you are not long yet on this name, in my opinion, it will be a very good entry point for long. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. If you find it helpful, educational, hit the like, subscribe. Don't forget to check the links in the description below. Choose your path to financial freedom. Until the next video, stay safe.